Hello, and thank you for tuning in to this very special episode of Animals and Names. Uh, as promised, we have uh, city employees that are going to be signing up to come here and showcase our animals. And our first person today that's going to do that is normally behind the scenes. She's the amazing person that produces all of the Animal AIM shows. Uh, she does excellent work. She makes those animals, when they're not cooperating, look like they're cooperating. Um, she can edit 15 times when I say something that I shouldn't be saying or uh, have a bad choice of words or whatever. Uh, she does a great job. So today you're going to meet Kate and she's going to be highlighting four of our special kitties uh, here at the Ames Animal Shelter that are available for adoption. So my name is Ron Edwards. I'm the Animal Control Supervisor and I want to welcome Kate to show some of her animals here at the Ames Animal Shelter and Animal Control. Hi, I'm Kate from Media Productions, and our first guest today is Tasha. She's a transfer from the Story County Animal Shelter. She's been there since 2019. She's a three-year-old spayed female, and she is just the most loving cat. She loves to be scratched and to, and to be petted. I mean, she's just loving all this attention. They say that she'll flirt until she gets all the attention she needs, which is a lot. And she's a pretty small cat really petite but I just love this brown coloring she just is loving all this attention she hasn't been dog tested but she would do really well in a nice friendly home so this is Tasha and she's here at the animal shelter looking for her forever family This is Rudy. He was transferred from the Story County Animal Shelter as well. He was there since December of 2020. And he's a very smart cat. He can figure out how to open his kennel door if they don't put a lock on it. This cat loves cuddles and he would be a good cat for anybody who is looking for a nice dude cat. He would be good with children, but he is kind of hesitant around other cats, so you need to be careful with that. But if you're looking for a nice, beautiful orange cat, Rudy is here at the Ames Animal Shelter. Our next guest is Midge. She is a spayed female, one year old. She is just a beautiful kitty. I love the markings on her, her white nose, and she has white paws in this tortoise shell. It's so pretty. She loves attention, but she won't scream for it, so she's not a beggar, but she definitely likes the attention. She would be good with kids and other cats. Uh, we haven't dog tested her yet, though, so we don't know about that. She's a very quiet cat. She has a nice little soft meow, but you don't hear it too often, but it is there, so she is kind of vocal, but... If you want a nice, pretty, calm cat who loves attention, this is definitely the cat for you. So come on down to the Ames Animal Shelter and check out Midge. And our final cat here is Sydney. Sydney was caught in a live humane trap, but unfortunately her owners did not want to come and pick her up. So she's looking for her new forever home here at the Ames Animal Shelter. She loves to eat. <laughs> so you're going to have to make sure you watch that because she definitely likes meal times. But who doesn't? She would be good with children. She's a little hesitant around other cats. But with an intro, she might start to warm up and, and get used to the other cats. She has not been dog tested, so we will have to do that before she leaves. Um, but she is just a tiny little cat. She's really pretty. She has a white face and her beautiful markings with her stripes. If she would stand up, you could see her little white paws as well. She is another beautiful kitty here down at the Ames Animal Shelter. So that was four special cats that you met here that are available for adoption. And remember, that's just a sampling of the cats that we have available for adoption. Um, there's lots more to choose from. If you look at our website, which is amesanimalshelter.org, you can see a picture of every cat that's available for adoption by clicking Cats Available for Adoption. Uh, looking at that link, there's information about them, uh, their age, whether they're male or female, whether they're spayed or neutered, and of course all the animals before they go home are spayed or neutered. 
um, and have all current vaccinations, microchip, everything. So we want to make sure that gets done. So keep an eye on our website, again, amesanimalshelter.org. Our Facebook page is always very active and we try to keep animals posted on there. So if you've lost a pet, we post every lost pet that we pick up here in the city of Ames on our Facebook page. Um, and we also have pet tips on there from time to time that talks about how to properly care and be a responsible pet owner here in our community. I want to thank Kate for doing a great job today and uh, for all the work that she does usually behind the scenes. It's great to see her in front of the camera today. Mm -hmm.